Hi everyone, Anthony Fantano here, internet's busiest music nerd, and going to continue sort of sifting through my records. Done two videos so far, and I'm going to continue annotating these videos on this video toward the end or just somewhere near the beginning and linking them below as well. So, oh, hey, is this part four? I want to see the other three parts. Oh, they're linked right here. Damn, technology. All right, let's start. We left off on this record, the Bong Ripper record, Satan Worshipping Doom, double LP. Unfortunately, not a gatefold, um, but does have Nice little extra goodies in there. Um, this is like, you know, this is just telling me like where it was recorded, stuff like that. This is a CD copy of the of the album. Nice little CD. I love it when bands do that. Either that or just sort of like, you know, at least let people get a copy of that digital. You know what I mean? I like the digital downloads that come with the records because even though I do like listening to vinyl, sometimes I'm out, got the MP3 player, you know, I don't always have the time to spin my red ass vinyl. You know, that's it. And I do like the uh, the labeling on here too. I like this pressing. Light colored records, like candy. All right, let's get that back in here. Gentle, gentle now, gentle, gentle. I hate it when the sleeves are small and you can't get the damn record in there. All right. You know what, I skipped over this record. Just want to mention that I, where the heck is it now? Lost it. Where'd I put it? There it is. Oh, damn. It's not like this is a rare record or anything like that. Um, nice Beatles 12 inch, got Hey Jude on here, Revolution, Paperback Writer, Should Have Known Better, love the song Ballad of John and Yoko. Da -da 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 -da. That wasn't even on the record. It's a nice condition, nice and clean. Got some dust on there. Careful, careful now, careful. There we go. Okay, let's continue on. Oh, we have one of my favorite records of, oh, is it 2010? Yep. Yep, 2010. The books, The Way Out. So many albums, I can't even remember when they came out. Double LP, um, nothing cool or uh, amazingly special about, oh wait, no, I'm lying. Um, okay, so I'm just gonna pull out everything in here. Now, you may have seen the record cover on the internet and it had, you know, the words all colored and stuff. Apparently, like, you can, there are stickers, these are stickers in the shapes of the respective letters that are on the cover and then you can sort of pull them off and put them on the cover and, you know, just sort of make your own record cover or whatever. Um, got the lyrics and kind of a print back there of sort of, you know, various sound files, not sound files, but files holding sound files that I imagine are samples that they incorporated on the album. and. Uh, I'm going to ask Chris to kind of do a close-up and, and try to get a, you know, a, a, good, a good view of this, but this is the D side of the record. There is music on the A, B, and C side, but on the D side, can you see that at all? Yeah. Yeah. You have a, a print of those sound files on, on here. It's kind of, it's textured, you know, it's, it's an interesting, nice little extra pressing. Uh, you know, they don't know what to do with the D side. There's room there. Oh, hey, let's put art on that. That's an awesome idea. Do that more. Love that. All right. Let's see what next. We got David Bowie, Space Oddity, um, limited, edition, uh, limited edition vinyl LP, but I don't recall uh, anything amazing about the... Uh, the pressing labeling or anything like that on black vinyl, but I do, th is this a plastic sleeve? No, it's not, but it is a nice heavy pressing uh, reissue. It's nice and clean. I do love that song, Space Odyssey, you know, uh, Space Oddity. Not a, I guess, uh, not a favorite of mine in, in Bowie's discography, but does have some of my favorite songs from him. Um, of course, I mean, the, this copy is beat to crap, uh, bought it used. 
but David Bowie's uh, <laughs> To Rise and Fall of Ziggy Stardust. Um, like I said, uh, beat to crap, nothing amazing about the vinyl pressing, but the record is clean, it's in good shape, the sleeve is pretty much falling apart. But oh, got that nice old school picture there. That's cool. Rock and roll suicide. Oh man, we're flying through. We are flying through. Oh man, I still got this. Bright black morning light. I remember this is like one of the first bands I reviewed on my channel when I was like doing track reviews or something. Um, I kept this record, it wasn't one of my favorites of that year I don't think, but I just like the psychedelic undertones of this LP, really kind of a slightly, ever so slightly underrated record. Um, you know, I, I just really like how meditative this album is, I like all the uh, the, uh, the various sounds on it. I caught the band live once, but unfortunately, because they just play so quietly, oh, it's on, it's on nice marbled white vinyl. Forgot that completely. I should play this record. I haven't listened to this record in a long time. Um, unfortunately, when I saw them live, they played so quietly that people in the bar where they were playing were talking louder than they were playing, and I hate that. All right, don't do that. All right, moving on. Oh, me and Chris like this record. We have a soft spot in our hearts for this record. It's Bright Eyes LP. I'm wide awake, it's morning. Really like, uh, I guess the last record from Connor Roberts that I loved. Um, although I, that, that new- Disappointed tra- us. Yeah, the new track he put out, that was cool. good. Did you hear the, the B-side? No, I haven't heard the B-side. It's, it's also good. It's also good. Um, but that track is good. He, he rocked it, man. He rocked it. Um, nice thick vinyl pressing on this. You have a vinyl of this too? Yeah. Okay, Chris has got the vinyl too. I've got like all of the Bright Eyes albums on vinyl. <laughs> We're doing Chris's album collection <laughs> next. Um, you know, I, I do like, uh, you know, you don't really get the sense of this from looking at the album cover digitally um, online, but you know, when you get the record, uh, you know, you really get the sense of, oh man, this is cloth, and this is like, this is not a painting or a drawing or anything like that. This is stitched, you know, and it's like you're getting all these cloth leaves on here. You really get to, to just sort of uh, drink in the details of the album art on this one, and, and this is one album where I'm particularly fond of, of just the way the art was created. Um, okay, moving on. Got that Danny Brown triple X. And what's in the middle? Bam! 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 Minimalism. Um, double LP on white vinyl, I believe. Is this on white? On white wax? Oh yeah, it be. It be. And I believe it does come with uh, a seven inch as well. Uh, it's a nice little package. I bought it kind of at a discounted thing because the corner was 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 bent. And uh, you get a lyric sheet on here too. Bam. Is that seven inch in here somewhere? Where'd it go? Where is it? It's hiding. There it is. <clears throat> here you go. You got a little seven inch of die like a rock star and blunt after blunt with the uh, Lie For and I Will acapellas on this. So if I ever want to just put this on and just listen to Danny Brown's voice, I can because I have that freedom. All right, let's see, what is it? Oh, live, the Brubeck LP featuring Paul Desmond, jazz at the Black Hawk. A friend of mine gave me this record, and if I am correct, this has an interesting colored pressing. Oh yeah, this is this is red marble as well. Nice. This is swanky. This has got some swank to it. A good friend of mine, uh, Derek, gave me that record, and uh, this is another record I'm fond of. Nothing amazing about the pressing, but I will just say uh, the Budos Band, uh, fantastic fantastic group. Um, I didn't really love their last album, but you know, their their initial LPs, this EP on Daptone Records, solid, solid releases of, uh, you know, instrumental jazz funk. Uh, 
This is a repressing of, of this album, unfortunately. This is a, one of the Buzzcocks earliest releases, but even though it is a, a repress, I do like this uh, uh, release a lot. Really great punk LP. Spiral Scratch has some of their best material on here, in my opinion. Breakdown, Time's Up, Boredom, Friends of Mine. Really short 12-inch EP. Um, but I do like the, uh, you know, the classic vintage uh, labeling that they have on the record. Good pressing, but of course that's to be, uh-oh. Gonna have to cut this one off. All right, once we come back, we have some John Cale. That's next, getting into the C's. We're finally out of the B's. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Anthony Fantano, vinyl, forever.